Hello and welcome to our Interpreter YouTube channel. Today we will be looking at the Ultralink Android TV box and how to use it from start to finish. Let's look at the specs. The CPU is a Pentacore ARM Male 450. The RAM is at 1 gigabyte. There's an internal storage of 8 gigabytes. Internet connection is either Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable. This product is not Google certified. Preloaded apps it comes with the Showmax, Netflix, YouTube, and Play Store. It's an Android version 7.1 and it supports 4K and HD videos. So this is everything you get in the box. There is a user manual, additional sheets, information sheet on warranty, app navigation manual, and the Ultralink Android TV box upgrade guide that we will be discussing in more detail later. There's a power adapter, an HDMI cable, a remote control, and then last but not least, the Ultralink Android TV box itself. Let's look at the Ultralink Android TV box in more detail. So if you turn it on its side, you will see two full-size USB ports and one TF card reader. If you turn it on the back, you have the AV ports, Ethernet connection ports, HDMI port, and your power sockets. Let's connect your Android TV box. First, we connect the Ethernet ports, the HDMI ports, and then the power sockets. We are now ready to set up our Android TV box. So this is the main interface of the Android TV box. We start off by navigating through it by using the arrow keys. As you can see, you can go up, down, left and right easily. If you want to confirm a selection, simply press OK. So let's set up your device by selecting settings. In the setting menu, go to display, select screen position. Here you can adjust the screen zoom and position. Simply press back so we can adjust your screen resolution. Select screen resolution. The machine defaults to automatic. You can manually adjust it to your preference. Press back. The internet connection. We are currently connected with Ethernet. It connects your internet automatically, but let's set up your Wi-Fi. Put your Wi-Fi on. It will then show available Wi-Fi devices. Press OK to confirm. Use the arrow keys to navigate and press OK to confirm. Press OK multiple times to confirm the letter, number or symbols. If you made a mistake, simply press the backspace to remove it and then use the arrow keys to navigate and press OK to confirm. For those hard to reach areas, simply press the mouse button using the arrow keys to navigate where you want to make a selection. Press OK to confirm. Let's set up language. In the setting menu, go to language. Press OK to confirm. Here you can see there are 24 languages to choose from. Press backspace. Let's set up the date and time. 
In the setting menu, go to Date and Time. By default, the automatic time is on. You can turn it off and then manually update the date and time. Please note that this product needs to be connected to the internet to display the time correctly. Then once you are done, press back. To uninstall apps, in the setting menu, go to Apps. Select the app that you want to uninstall. Press OK. Press uninstall. Press OK. Confirm your action. And then like magic, it disappears. Press back. So if you want to back up and reset the Android TV box, in the setting menu, go to storage and reset. Select the factory data reset, but please be warned, if you do this, you will wipe out all of your current data. Next, we will update OTA. So from the interface, go to my apps, find the update application, press OK to enter the sub menu, from here, select both Wipe Data and Wipe Media. Then select OTA Update to begin the update. This box is currently at its latest update. However, if you have an older version, do the same process. So wipe the data, wipe the media, press OTA update and it will take approximately 3 minutes to update. If you need to update any apps, from my apps, find the app store. Here you will have the option of updating the app. You can easily connect a wired or wireless mouse to your Android TV box to easily navigate through your apps. Let's look at YouTube using a mouse. This is what the interface of YouTube looks like. You can easily navigate through using the mouse. Go to your selected destination. Simply select the video. To adjust the resolution, select the quality tab so you can adjust the video quality. Next, we will look at using the mouse on Netflix. From my apps, find Netflix. Press OK to enter Netflix submenu. So with your mouse, scroll down to the desired show you want to watch. If you need to remove or edit any audio or subtitles, press the audio and subtitles tab on Netflix to go back. Press the arrow key on Netflix 
or the back button on your remote. We hope this video explained how to use an Android TV box. For further queries, check the description box below and contact us directly.